Hello, in this tutorial we are going to learn about making a standard curve using Gen5. So first, we, we learned how to make a protocol in the previous video. If you haven't seen that, please go through that. I'll just use one of the protocols we have already made. So let's click on experiment. You can tell the program which protocol you want to use. Let's click, let's say I want to run an ELISA. Then I'll go to protocol and plate layout. Next, I want to click on standard. Remember, a standard is a set of points that when connected make a curve that can be written mathematically. So this standard curve will be used to find out values for unknown samples whose concentrations are not known. Okay. So, so that's why for the standards, the value should be known so that you can interpolate unknown samples. So you click on standard here, click on these three dots. Here's where you put your, your concentration values for the standard if you're running an ELISA. So let's say my first standard was 1000 nanogram per microliter. Remember, this is only an arbitrary unit. The program actually doesn't care if you put in a unit or not. It's only for your information. And let's say I diluted all these serially in, in two fold dilutions. So click on fact. Now the catch with this program is you don't write two if you're diluting it two fold, you actually write 0.5. So select here. And as I click on the next standard, the values will automatically be put in. I'll do it till seventh standard, but it will totally depend on your experiment. If you've made 12 standards, please go ahead and add the values till 12 standards. Click OK. You have your standard value here. You have the concentration. Um, let's let's make this in triplicate. Again, all this layout will depend on your actual plate. Right now, I'll just assume any random plate. The thing you want to make sure is you have the next concentration clicked in. If you do not click on next concentration, if I add these, if I, if I add the standard here, it will just put the first standard in all of these wells and you don't want that. So we are going to go for standard and we're going to make sure we click on next concentration. So after every three wells, it will automatically select the next standard. And here uh, now let's say if I, I had these three last three wells as blanks so I'll also put that in and that's my standard so I have set up my plate layout however when you are running standard curves you want to make sure about another special parameter that's called data reduction data reduction is what's going to help your program ex interpolate the values of your unknowns using the standard curve so you click on curve analysis well ID is standard your X axis data is going to be your concentration so plate layout setting means whatever is the other parameter other than the absorbance that's going to be plate layout setting so I want to make a graph that has X axis as concentration which will be my plate layout settings and Y axis as my absorbance values I want to I want you to know that you should select blank 450 and not just 450 because blank 450 is the absorbance at 450 subtracted by the blank so this is your absorbance minus the background noise and this is the right way to do it next you'll click on curve fit now if you know what kind of curve fit works for you that's the best else you can try different curve fits and see which one you which which one gives you the best r square value so for now let's just make it a linear regression so and you have the formula right here that this is the formula that the program will use to interpolate the unknowns and for different different regression values there are different formulas click on data out in data out you will click on calculate concentration into dilution this is very important please make sure you have this checked on and click on OK. Now you have made your curve analysis. This will this will tell the program how to use the standard curve to find out the unknowns. Now you're all set. Have your spectrometer turned on. Make sure your plate is ready. Click on read plate. All of this is optional. 
click on read insert your plate yes make sure you are you know where you're saving your result file and name it accordingly how the previous files have been named i'll just replace this right now at this point you are done you just have to wait for you click ok and wait for the spectrometer to give you the result and that's how you make a standard curve using gen 5 thank you